Hi, good morning guys. So we've been up here on this point glass and and we've got a whole bunch of deer glassed up. So now we're gonna go down and park and uh, just start doing stocks until we can get one killed or two killed. Right? Two or three, right? Yeah, two or three. <laughs> so here we go. Looks like it's gonna be another great day and should be a lot of fun. See you in a bit. Hi guys, we got in there, got kind of close, and uh, they got busted early down low. So me and Mike looped around this draw, got on them again, but they were too far out to shoot, and the brush was just, it's too thick to shoot, but it's not thick enough to not be seen where we were at. So we just backed out, come back over the hill, had two more bucks in this draw and uh, one was actually following Kenny as he was stalking up the hill but close but no cigar so we're gonna go find some more and keep trying it keep doing this all day until we got tags punched so, these little bastards right here I hate these things more than I hate cactus they grab you and hold on to you and they just drive me nuts. So we're gonna hike back to the rig right now, regroup and go to the next spot, the glass room. Okay, here we go, stock number two. I got Kenny now, I got a buck down in the bottom of this draw just over the hill we're gonna loop we're gonna loop around and hopefully he's getting the way he's working hopefully he'll work right out in front of us and Kenny can sink an arrow in him it's been tough all right that stock's done we got to within 120 of them, but some cows come down the draw and uh, pushed them up onto the other hillside. If they would have stayed where they were, if them cows wouldn't have pushed them and they would have stayed where they were, we had probably a 60 yard shot. Just the luck of it. Everything was working good. The cows didn't really scare them. They, weren't, they didn't go in fast or anything. It's just they didn't want to be in the bottom with those cows. So they uh, trotted up on the hill a little bit and started feeding again. Once we got up over there, it was just, that's too far of a shot. And there was no way we could come in on them because they're in the middle of a canyon. There was no, couldn't come around anywhere. It was, it just was, it is what it is. So. But it's still super early in the morning. We've been in deer all morning. A few stalks. Kenny's been on a couple. Him and Zach. Me and Mike went on one. It was uh, a lot better of a day. Yesterday's been a great day. Today's been a great day. Now we just need a couple deer to just be stupid. The does are on high alert. And uh, they're what's making it tough to get on these bucks because there's so many of them. There was probably 30 does in that group, wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah, Easy. Yeah, at least 30 does. That's a lot of eyes to, sne to sneak in on. The wind ended up shifting on us a little bit, so we had to renege on that too. But we should have a pretty consistent wind for the rest of the day now and they're up and feeding. We just need some dumb ones. Eventually we're gonna put enough of these together 
and it's gonna work out. Man, I hate these little, they're like little desert rose bushes. They just grab you. I had one stuck to me and it was long and I'd pull it off one side of me and it'd stick to the other side of me. It just, it was, I couldn't get it off. It was starting to piss me off. On top of it, they're starting to shred my pants a little bit. Little loops getting pulled out everywhere. That's one thing I like about the guide pants versus the obsidians. A little bit different material. They, catch, they don't catch that stuff like these do. But I love these pants. I just, uh, I don't like them in that stuff. <laughs> Everybody that hunts down here in southern part of, a, you know, middle to southern part of Arizona, they know what I'm talking about. They've had to mess with it. We're gonna head back up to the rig, relocate, and uh, try to glass some more up. Keep going. I'll see you guys in a bit. Check that out. Just found that cool old shell sitting down here in the bottom of this wash. Old 30 out six Springfield. Wonder if he tagged out with that round. Lunch time. We had so much extra leftover pizza. That's what we're having for that's what we're having for lunch. And we'll probably still have leftovers from it. Kenny's eyes are bigger than his stomach. He thought, hell, give us 10 of everything. I don't think I've ever seen somebody spend that much money at Little Caesars either. <laughs> we were kind of surprised too when it was 50 bucks. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, pretty eventful morning. We have a lot of deer all over the place. Plenty of, plenty of stocks, just not yet. We're gonna have lunch and uh, make a game plan and go from there. Hopefully put some more stocks on or and shoot some deer. Weather's good today. Got a light breeze, which should help with stocking. It's just, when you got 600 eyes looking at you, makes it tough. <laughs> Can't hide from the camera, Kenny. Zach's on his way back after a stock on a buck. It's right behind that tree right there. Close, close, close. So since the last time I checked in with you guys, we've put a couple more stocks on and uh, come close, just hasn't panned out. The day's winding down, the sun's setting. Hopefully we can make something happen here before it gets dark. Sorry, I just realized I have my camera on zoom. So, getting close, getting close. All right, we just got back to the ranch house from the evening hunt and got the boys all loaded up. They are heading off. They got to get back, so. They stuck it out as long as they could to try to get something something killed. Just couldn't couldn't get it done. We shots were fired, but nothing connected. The last two days have definitely been a big change from the way it's been. Um, I don't know what the deal is. The weather is 
Yesterday we had some overcast most of the day. Today it's been like every other day, but the deer were out. They were up, they were moving, and uh, we found them. <laughs> we found a lot of them. We put a crap load of stocks on today. We busted our butts and went all day long just trying to get something on the ground, and it didn't happen, but they're all loaded up and uh, get ready to take off. There they go. Back to Cali. Nick's in town with uh, the other guys. They got here today. He picked them up for me and uh, his, his guy showed up. So I'm gonna come in here and sit down and unwind for a minute and enjoy a little peace and quiet. Hey, hey, look at that. Thanks to Amazon, we got new coils for the Rover. Man, I'm glad Amazon exists or I would not have parts because the parts stores are a few days out to getting something, so. Man, that's so frustrating. I hate not filling tags. I hate it more than anything. If it's my tag, I don't mind it because I'm, I'm, di you know, it's mine. It's it's something. It's my choice to not fill a tag. But those guys, they were ready to kill just about anything with horns these past two days, and uh, just didn't pan out. Man, it didn't pan out. So I'm gonna kick back and relax. Edit today's vlog. And probably get a shower before, hopefully, well, I'm at least going to try to get a shower and relax before they get back. And then uh, get today's vlog edited and um, get it posted. Well, I was going to relax and I was going to ha just hang out by myself with a little peace and quiet for a minute. But this showed up. So now I'm going to go out and I'm going to tear into the rover and I'm going to get the coils changed tonight. So hopefully everything runs smooth and perfect tomorrow. And then once I'm done with that, I'm gonna get tonight, today's vlog edited and uh, a shower. So I'll uh, see you in a little bit. All right, so here we go. We are changing the coils. It showed up thanks to Amazon. <clears throat> I've got two done already. I've been probably about 10 minutes into this max. And I got all, I mean, that's getting everything out. I got my tools. I always carry these tools with me. And uh, got my custom foot hanger there, holder. And we're changing coils. I should have this side done in probably five minutes. And then we'll move over to the other side. The other side takes a little bit more time because I got to take off the PCV valve right here so I can get access under there. But other than that, it's a cake. Pop the cover off, start unbolting them. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, fingers crossed, we run good, nice and smooth. So. Boom, there it is guys. Eight new coils in about 30 minutes. Already got that side all buttoned up. Just gotta throw the shield on, the little cover piece on top right there and we're done. Oh, I gotta hook up the battery. And we're gonna start her and see how she does. All right guys, we are done. Rover's been put together. Uh, Got my, the first three guys on the road, packed up, sat down, been visiting with uh, the new guys that showed up and Nick here and uh, just got done taking a shower and it's about 11.30 at night. I'm going to sit back and edit some video for tomorrow and uh, get to bed so I can get up at five and start it all, all over again. We got seven days, so here goes. Thanks guys for watching. I appreciate it very much. Please subscribe, comment, like, and I'll see you tomorrow.